Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. on Monday, December 5th, and I'm the only one awake in the house. And I have the festive fireplace on the TV. And I think I'm going to sit here in my family room and do a little knitting. So I'm finally going to finish the toe on this sock. I've wanted to do it for days now and it is going to happen first thing. And then I pulled uh, this sweater shirt out of my whip pile that I'm knitting for my daughter. And I want to, I want to hopefully knit a few inches on this today. I don't know. We'll see if I'll get to. There's my kitty. I have kind of a busy day, but I mean, you know, every day it's got something, right? My mother is celebrating her birthday so when she drops the kids off um, we're gonna have cake and give her her gift and um, so you know that'll take up some of the day we'll just see we'll see how much knitting I can get done today and I have my Earl Grey tea with almond milk and so, I don't know how long I'll leave the fireplace on. I feel like I want to catch up on some Flossmas. Daphne and I watch Vlogmas together um, with the knitters. and um, But then I have a couple of cross-stitch channels that I like to watch, and they're doing Flossmas. So maybe I'll catch up on those because I didn't get to watch any this weekend. All right, talk to you later. All right, it's about half past seven, and I finished the toe on my second sock. So now I have a pair, and I have to weave in the ends, which I'm going to do this morning. But I'm not going to do it right this moment, because I made myself some breakfast. But... I'll show you my breakfast, but before I show you my breakfast, while I was up making my breakfast, I weighed what I had left of the um, Night Owl Fibers Christmas 2022 skein, and I have 21 grams left. So I totally could have knitted the um, leg of the sock a little longer, which I would have preferred, but I was determined to only use that yarn for this pair of socks so I I tried to um, you know I can't think of the word I'm looking for but I you know I didn't want to make the leg too long and not have enough to finish the heel and the toe so I think I'm gonna add you know add this into a scrappy pair eventually some sometime but all right, so you may be wondering what I made myself for breakfast. And I made myself oatmeal. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite breakfasts. Oatmeal with a splash of almond milk, sliced banana, chopped walnuts, and a little drizzle of maple syrup. <laughs> All right, I'm going to eat that. Talk to you later. All right, it's quarter past eight, and my socks are finished. Yay! What are we doing right now, Mason? Don't know. Who are we waiting on to come back home? Mary Rose. Mary Rose. And Ralph. Yeah, and then what are we going to do? Don't know. Celebrate Great Gammy's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy. 
I think Jimmy's birthday today. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's crazy. All right, Mason, I'm going to talk to your mom about her knitting. About knitting? She decided to work on the suit. Don't worry, Dummy. So, I had like two rows and then ribbing to do. So, it's just ribbing. It's so, almost you're done. almost done. Oh, yeah, nice. it was almost done to begin with. I just didn't knit it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, so, then when you finish that, are you going to cast your grandmother's sweater on? Maybe. Me and Maybe. 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 I don't know. kind of want to do socks again. A oh. quicker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, who knows? We'll decide later. Right. I haven't done my advent sock today, so I have to do that first. Oh, yeah. And then I'll decide. We haven't opened our advents yet either, so we'll mm -hmm. have to do that after <laughs> my mom leaves. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll check in in a little bit. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Gamby. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. We're opening our advent. We just have to find it. Oh, there it is. Number five in a bag. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ah, two in a. What you doing, Daphne? Knitting my advent sock. I am knitting day five. So you are on track. Yes. I did vlog it yesterday. I didn't make it oh, into... I forgot. The vlog. To send it to you. Because you did send it to me, yeah. <laughs> I did vlog it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't make so it. that green color is day four. Yeah, the green's day four. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is just white. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Based on the fall, it kind of looks like it's just going to... Not yet. Actually, maybe... It kind of looks like it's just going to repeat some of the colors, so I'm a little confused. I don't think it's supposed to, right? I thought it was 24 That's different colors. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's going to repeat. Well, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see every I don't know, day. Cause the purple's right there again. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Because there's the brown, too. Mm. Brown's right there. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe, maybe it's and then the green and the red's right there, too. Yeah, I but... Know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Well, it's... My cat keeps knocking the... <laughs> I'm knocking my hand and he's licking it. <laughs> I got my yarn tangled in the other sock. Anyway, I was thinking that if it's 250 grams, well, she would need to repeat the stripes to get the 50 grams for each ball, right? I don't know. I don't know either. I just meant like I've it never looks done like one. it's coming up pretty close, actually. Like, I mean, there's a pink and there's a yellow, and then there's like a teal. Hmm. But there's also purple. Like the same shade of purple in mm -hmm. this hole. You guys can't see it, but it's in there. Yeah. I don't know. We'll All see. right. Well, we'll see. All right. We still have to open our um, advents. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I up? Yes, Thomas, you uh, did. No. Wave hi, hi Tom. I what? Wave hi. No. Say hi to the vlog, Tom. No, I just want some gingerbread and I'll go somewhere. doing day five of the advent, so I'm going to start with the yarn. Look at that one. That one's pretty. Look. 
He went like all out. Like, those are cute. I won't even be able to show you. There's flowers, squares, and then hearts. They're all little stitch markers. <laughs> and then the Hay Country Creations. <gasps> Look at this one. This is close. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Here, hold it cute. up again a little bit longer. Does it not focus? Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh. I think I recognize that one. It's yarn a bowl again. Yeah. Okay, I did recognize it. It's the raspberry cream. Oh, that's cute. Put the bag down. It's like a love letter. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to read the story. Mason, are you ready to listen to the story? Yeah. Okay. Earlier this evening before the kids went to bed, I read to them from two books. Tonight is the eve of the Feast of St. Nicholas, and that is something that we celebrate in this household. Um, so first I read from this book of saints. about St. Nicholas. And then I read this story to the kids. It's called The Baker's Dozen, A St. Nicholas Tale. And it's just a fun story with beautiful illustrations that the kids enjoy listening to. And um, then when the story is finished, the kids put their shoes out. And in the morning, the kids find a little gift in their shoe, and they're super excited. And it's just a fun tradition that we have. Um, but the kids don't just get excited about the gift in their shoe in the morning. Um, they look forward to the evening before sitting down after dinner and reading the stories and setting their shoes out. Even the older kids, they'll come in the room and listen to the same stories that they've been listening to for years. All right, so the souffle is done. It's done. And the bottom ribbing, I went down two needle sizes and it's waving. It's hard to show. Look at this. So it's like a full sweater. It's like waving. It's not too bad right now. But it's pretty bad. It was worse earlier. I don't know why. But went down two needle sizes and it's like waving and then it's flaring at the same time. Like it's not sitting nice. I think blocking will help it. I don't know. I hope so. This is what it was like the first time I did it, too. It did this. And I was on a US 11. So I went down to the US 10 and, a, 10 and a half, which I don't know those in millimeters. And it's still doing it. But the rest of the ribbing is on a 10 and a half. And they're all fine. Mm -hmm. But they're blocked, too. Right? Okay, I just think blocking is so, going to help. <laughs> I don't think so. Because, like, I'm thinking this is fine because I did the, what is it, rapid decrease. And then there's hardly any stitches. So it's like, plus I accidentally did my bind off too tight. <laughs> so, but, like, see, look, if I, I just did that to that sleeve. Thinking, and that one I didn't do it to. So you see how it, like, came out a little bit? 
I don't know. But I've used this yarn before and it doesn't do that on the same needles. I don't think. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think blocking's gonna help. Oh. But. What did you move on to next? Christmas stuff. Was I where that Santa was? Yes, I was. Where the fat Santa was, is. So I have four rows and then the toe, which is gonna be a round toe, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a round toe. This one will be done maybe tonight. We'll see. But that's all I got. <laughs> and you you have a second one that's Yeah, it's in there. Done. I haven't done it yet. Like, I haven't worked on it since showed it and after oh, the okay. gusset's done. Mm -hmm. But I haven't touched this so you'll one. Have I've a, just been doing the one. You'll have a finished pair sooner than later. Yes. All right. So. Alrighty. Alright, we almost forgot to pick a winner for the Care Sweater by Correa Vea or Rebecca Cow. Cow. I forget her last name again. <laughs> but anyway, so the winner is Mo R. And her comment says, great job on the Care Sweater, Daphne. It looks amazing on you. I enjoy hanging with you guys during my lunch break. So, we just did it on the random comment picker. <laughs> Yeah, random comment picker or whatever. So, but yeah, if you want to get in touch with either me or the Rose Opal account with your Ravelry name, I can send you the sweater mm -hmm. pattern. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, I managed to work on my daughter's sweater a little bit, but... As I said, it was a busy day, so I didn't get to knit as much as I wanted to. I made a little progress, and progress, a little progress is better than no progress, right? All right, it is about 9.15, and I am tired, so I'm going to close the vlog out. See you tomorrow.